I've heard from too many parents concerned about close calls in front of schools or tragically kids being hit by cars and seriously injured or even killed. There are changes we can make to update our policies and advance school zone safety, putting kids and adults well-being first. That is why we're here to announce AB 2583, the Safer School Zones Act. I wanna take a moment to acknowledge that this is a deeply personal and painful subject for the Castlemont community. And I know that the pain and trauma of losing a student in 2022 is still very real. We channel that grief into a desperately needed conversation about school zone safety in Campbell and across California. And of the 39 states that set a maximum school zone speed limit by statute, California is one of just nine states in the country with a school zone speed limit greater than 20 miles per hour. Every one of our neighboring states, Oregon, Nevada, and Arizona, they know it's dangerous, which is why they changed their laws years ago. When children are present also does not account for the fact that grandparents, teachers, crossing guards, all continue to go unprotected because they aren't a child. I want a world in a school that can reasonably let me believe that I and my daughter will get her to school safely every single day. No longer will we ask drivers to take their eyes off the road and search for whether there is a child present, because after our bill, drivers will know, whether you're in Shasta County or San Diego County, that before and after school, you need to slow down. When Jacob, a third grade student at Castlemont, was struck by a car and tragically died as he was walking to school, his family, friends, the Castlemont community, and the Campbell Union School District as a whole were devastated. As we all mourned the tragic loss of an innocent eight-year-old life, we also wanted to make sure that this would never happen again. One of the first lawmakers I spoke with was Assemblyman Mark Berman. And respectful of the grieving process, Assemblyman Berman toured Castlemont as well as the crosswalk where the accident happened. When he saw the flowers, candles, and letters left by Jacob's loved ones as they memorialized Jacob's life at the crosswalk. The assembly member turned to us, the Castlemont principal, our superintendent, fellow board trustee, Danielle Cohen and me, and promised to work on increasing pedestrian safety around schools. We are determined that Jacob's death not be in vain. And this is one more step in the right direction. But safety begins before our kids even set one foot on our school grounds. By the time a, someone drives at 25 miles per hour, can see a small child, it's too late for them to stop. The risk of death for a pedestrian is three times higher if hit by a car going 25 miles per hour than if hit by a car going 15 miles per hour. This bill also pushes cities to better plan for school zones. These changes will make our streets safer for students, parents, and school employees, and will align California with the majority of other states across the country. 